Here's five things that you should already know about RuneScape, but maybe you didn't. In fact, I'm going to go out and say that I think most people watching won't know all of these. So let me know if you do. With that being said, before we start, if you enjoy the content on this channel, there is a link to my Patreon in the description where you can chuck a dollar over there, support the channel while also getting some patron only content. Anyway, let's go. It's pretty often when I do the bosses, Araxi and Next that I get asked the question about which familiar you should be using. Quite often at these bosses you're going to be using a Nihil or in some situations in, in Araxi you may want to use a Ripper Demon, but you don't want to use scrolls. Now the reason that you don't want to use scrolls at any of these bosses or the reason you would use a Nihil in the first place is mainly because it's going to boost your accuracy whereas a Ripper Demon gives you a passive damage increase. But that being said, both of these bosses are immune to familiar damage. You can't damage Araxi or Nex with familiars at all. This is the reason that you're going to get more out of using a accuracy booster or a damage booster rather than then adding in scrolls or something like that to a Ripper Demon. So if you are using a Ripper Demon in Nex, don't. And if you are using them at Araxi, this is fine for the passive, assuming your accuracy is already high. But do not use any scrolls because like I say, it can't take any damage from it, so it's just completely wasting those scrolls. For anyone wondering, you tend to want to use Ripper Demon if you're on like Maniacal or Reckless or Berserk Aura, assuming you're using tier 90 plus accuracy weapons as well. And if you're not on these auras and you don't have that gear, then there's a good chance you probably want to use a Nihil that matches your style anyway, as they do give a passive accuracy boost. For this next clip, I'm going to be talking about Sunshine and Death Swiftness, but we're also going to be talking about the Berserk Auras once again, so Maniacal and Reckless. Now, I personally, I am not 100% sure if this applies to Melee 2, but people are going to have to let me know if it applies to Melee and Berserk 2. I'm assuming it does, uh, but I don't know 100%. Anyway, what I'm going to be talking about is if you're using Maniacal or Reckless, so Maniacal in our sake for this one, I'm not going to use this, I'm not going to activate it because I want to use it later on stream, uh, but let's say I was using Maniacal Aura, right? The damage bonus from this does not stack with your Sunshine. Now, of course, if you're using Ranged, then it won't stack with your Death Swiftness either. So, something to keep in mind is when you're using these, you aren't going to be, it's not going to be stacking, okay? That being said, it is still absolutely worth using Sunshine while you're on these auras or using Death Swiftness while on these auras because there's going to be more damage during that anyway. However, there is something you can take advantage of because otherwise this tip or this thing would be pretty useless anyway without anything extra. If you wait until the last second of your sunshine here and you are on that aura, if you release that on the last second with some abilities, that will stack with your DPS aura. So the very last second or the very last tick of sunshine and death swiftness will stack with your DPS aura, meaning you can fire out a lot of damage on that last second. So if you're aware of this and you know it's about to run out and you know you're on that aura, then take advantage of those abilities. For example, as you saw me just then, I charged up a detonate and I released it with wild magic at the same time. This allows me to get detonate and auto attack and wild magic all to fire on that last tick of my sunshine, which means that I get four hits, four hits, and it will absolutely all stack with the thing. So massive hits out of that, big damage. Uh, and even if you just fire off something like a snapshot on ranged, or if you fire off a wild magic on magic, um, you're going to be getting a good damage boost from this. And it is definitely something worth keeping in mind, uh, ready for when that does run out. So throughout the entire thing, you get no bonus damage from your aura. But right at the end, on that last tick, throw out like a, a good hitting ability. And you'll see you'll get bigger numbers than normal. For the next one, we are going to be talking about Sunshine again, but these are things that are going to help you with your DPS. Now, a lot of people probably know this one, if I'm being completely honest, uh, but we will see, we will see. Right, so I'm on 100% Adrenaline, we're going to drop our Sunshine down here, and one thing that you need to know about when you're using your Sunshine or Death Swiftness or... Uh, I think Berserk actually maybe is different, I don't know, I don't, I don't know Melee enough, let me know. But using Bleeds in a Sunshine or a Death Swiftness they are not buffed at all by using this. So it is, it's not really worth using these during a, a Sunshine Death Swiftness if you have other abilities available. So you want to try and avoid these if you can, because like I say, the damage increase that you get from these, it just doesn't apply. It, it, they all do the exact same thing, uh, and it, there's, there's literally no reason to use this. Now, this also applies for other things as well. So if you are using the Great Concentrator Blast, you obviously don't want to use a bleed after this because bleeds can't crit. 
meaning that you don't get any benefit from doing this. So using Great Concentrated Blast and then a Bleed doesn't offer you any extra damage whatsoever. The same goes for when you're using Range. If I go and grab my Ascension Crossbows out, for example, um, if the game lets me, it's not going to let me because of the fire thing. But if you use Ascension Crossbows and use, ne use Needle Strike, this will give you a, a flat 7% damage increase, but it won't apply to Bleeds. So again, you don't want to use a Bleed after using that. However, one thing that is worth mentioning is on magic, if you use metamorphosis, this will actually allow you to get an increased damage to your bleeds, meaning your bleeds will actually be increased in damage when, when you're using metamorph rather than using sunshine. So these are still actually worth using when you are your metamorph. Uh, so keep that in mind because this this can be something that can be used in a lot of other places for example if you're doing seru uh, you may want to use metamorph on the second jump instead or whatever to just use the bleeds or telos in phase three i believe if you're in the red beam you also get your bleeds damage increased if you use metamorph and you're in the red beam your bleeds are going to be doing a ton of damage so sunshine death swiftness no bleed increase in damage metamorph it does work so Worth knowing about. People who know melee, let me know. Just let me do that. Can I even check? Let me see. Let me see. Does melee get increased with Berserk? Does it say? Uh, it says. It says. It just says increases melee damage. People, let me know in the comments. Melee Berserk. Does it increase bleeds? I have no idea. We are still here for number four as well at the training damage, which is pretty convenient for me making the video. But the next thing is that precasting Magma Tempest for you mages out there doesn't actually stop you from applying smoke cloud like other abilities would if you are using the targeted version. Now, the reason for this is if you have an actual target and then you apply an ability, you won't be able to apply smoke cloud straight away because you've got a target. Now, obviously after four ticks, it will cast the, the spell through if you keep spamming it, but you'll have to stop not using any other abilities in this time. However, pre-casting Magma Tempest will not do this. So if you are, like about to go cast the Magma Tempest, drop it on the floor before the boss is there, and then you can target that straight away, and then you can go on to your other damaging abilities right away. Like it's not going to actually interrupt this for you, meaning you can still apply this before the actual fight starts, and you can have that bleed damage there. It's not gonna it's not gonna delay your your start of the fight basically. This is something I figured out at Carapac uh, because I like to precast this and then I'll use Target Cycle and then I'll apply Smoke Cloud straight after that, followed by my Sunshine and my Vulnerability Bomb. Uh, so this works pretty well. Now you could, could, of course, always still just use Sunshine and then apply this. But if you do it the other way around, then you can use an auto attack after the sunshine and get a bit more damage as well. So that's why I like to do it like that. And uh, if you, yeah, precasting Magma, you can still use Smoke Cloud. But if you use any other ability first, You'll have to wait the four ticks before you can cast it again because you're on the four tick uh, cooldown for, for your, your abilities. Here's a neat little trick that we just figured out and actually is probably going to be something that most of you don't know. So it's, it does nothing. It's just purely for and like it's just interesting. We're going to share it to you anyway really quickly. Um, if you can actually use vulnerability bombs to cancel animations. Didn't know this was a thing until literally just now. So we're going to head up here and I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to be able to just quickly cast a magma tempers. Now what we want to do is make sure you remember where, where we casted this and you're going to be able to see. So I'm going to cast it directly here and then I'm going to cast it and throw a vuln bomb. And you're going to see that the vuln bomb goes magma tempest of animation gets cancelled. But the damage still goes through. And you can see it, there's no animation for it there. And this works with your sunshine as well. So if you sunshine and then vulnerability bomb on the same spot, it's going to cancel off the sunshine animation, but the buff is still here. So you can do this in like little little groups with your friends when you go PVMing, for example. If they sunshine and death swiftness, just vuln on their spot. And you can be like, oh, why didn't you use sunshine, dude? What are you doing? Why didn't you use death swiftness? Throw them off just a little bit. But I thought, I thought this was pretty interesting. We found it out by accident literally just a few minutes ago. Uh, so I thought I'd share it with you guys as a little bonus one. Let's go to the final one, though. Okay, so the final one for today is also going to keep us here at Wall's Retreat. So nice and easy to record, but also uh, it should be pretty useful. If you're using Insight Fear, of course, you're going to want to be using Tsunami at some point so that you get that nice extra adrenaline buff every time you crit, right? This is definitely something that you would take advantage of. 
especially if you are using a staff of armadil so we're going to tsunami this here but did you know that actually you can use things like greater chain um to specifically get more crits out of when you're using the tsunami and get really good adrenaline gain so for example if you use tsunami here any extra crits i get from now on is going to oop, i don't have the stacks inside here anymore it's gone one second but any extra crits after using tsunami including from um greater chain is going to be giving me a lot of adrenaline back so if i just throw away some adrenaline here if i can if the game lets me and doesn't just give me crit after crit after crit there we go now if i use greater chain you see that i've crit on this one i've crit on this one as well and you're just going to see that my adrenaline gain is going to be absolutely crazy because of the greater chain so every crit that i get on everything is is absolutely going to add to my adrenaline now this is really useful in boss places like Raksha, for example. You could use Greater Chain on Raksha when the, the shadow things spawn and after you use Tsunami. And that way you can use Greater Concentrated Blast in between that. So if you use Greater Chain, then Greater Concentrated Blast, you've got a good chance of getting crits, like a lot of crits, as you can see. And this means that your adrenaline is going to fly up really, really quickly. Now, one thing I will mention is you can use tendrils after Greater Chain and it will give you the, the guaranteed crits and you will get a lot of adrenaline, but it is worth keeping in mind that if you use tendrils and Greater Chain, you're going to take a lot more damage because you'll take damage for each target. So as you see here, each one is going to damage me and I can actually nearly kill myself if I, if I don't cancel that. So keep that in mind. You will get the crits and you will get all the damage uh, and you will get all the adrenaline but you will take all of the damage as well and it freaking hurts man like it like it's it's not it's not something you really want to do so use great concentrated blast use something that you're on a little battle staff after using um the greater chain and that way you've got all the crit chance from these as well and your adrenaline should just basically fly up through the roof Anyway, that's going to bring us to the end of this video, all of it pretty much here at Wars Retreat, other than the next one. But if you guys did enjoy, if you did find something new, then please do let me know in the comments. I very much really do appreciate it. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do leave a like. Sub to the channel if you are new around here. Channel members, thank you so so much for supporting the channel and patreon subscribers as well you guys are keeping me full time right now because ad revenue is all over the freaking place i don't know it makes no sense but it is what it is um and hopefully it gets fixed at some point soon but you guys support the channel a ton and also of course patrons you do get that extra content over on patreon as well so if anyone else is interested in joining the channel members and getting early access to videos or joining the patrons then over to the link in the description and get yourself some more content too but otherwise thank you all so much for watching if you didn't learn anything new let me know in the comments anything else that you can think of and i'll maybe use yours in the future video thank you all for watching appreciate it. i'll catch you in the next one see you later guys bye